Good morning, YouTube friends. Good, may the good Lord bless you. I really hope you're having a wonderful day. You ain't going to believe this. It's foggy out there this morning. It's actually 48 degrees here in Virginia, and it was 45 when I got up this morning. Nice and cool. I'm, I'm enjoying it. Uh, my friend uh, Frank, uh, Dr. Frank, asked me yesterday on that other video that I just did about plants that you could use to show some plants that were toxic that we shouldn't be using here in the state of Virginia. So, if you look up poison plants in the state of Virginia, there's literally hundreds of them that are have been assigned to the poison, the book of poison plants, okay? Because there is a book of poison plants in Virginia, okay? So one of the first things on the list is poison ivy or poison oak. And uh, oak and ivy are in the same family of plants. So the first one we're just going to go out here, right here beside the house, take a look at. Then we're going out into the forest. We're going along streams. And uh, you'll hear background noise of vehicles because some of the plants that I really want you to see if I can find them today uh, are growing along streams. But then we will go into the woods and check out some other plants as well. So I will say this, let's just, right off the bat, let's just say this. If you don't know what a plant is, then consider it poison. Do not consume it. If you don't know positively what it is, then consider it poison until you do know what it is. So don't eat it, don't, don't mess with it. Same way with mushrooms. If you don't know what a mushroom is, the, what the name of it is, and have consumed it before. There's so many look-alikes. Every mushroom out there should be considered poison if you do not know what it is. That's pretty simple and a good way to do it because if you have an allergic reaction to a mushroom, it's going to destroy your liver and then, and then that's going to kill you. The same way, well, let's just say poison oak or poison ivy. Some people will have an allergic reaction Without medication, it will kill them, just like a, a bee sting. So with that, you all, let's go out here and take a look at some uh, poison ivy, and then we'll get up the highway. So there you all, that's poison ivy. It and poison oak, the poison oak leaves look like oak leaves. Your, li your leaves will literally look like an oak leaf. It'd be poison oak. But you can see it's a climbing species of plant. Now I've actually chopped that off right there on this white oak tree just to stop it from destroying the whole tree. When you uh, look at uh, most of these books that you can read about it, poison ivy is one of the first ones because we call it poison. But there's other plants that just have, you know, generic names or, or they're... Uh, uh, real name that they don't they don't say in books that they are poison or toxic to you so uh we're going to head out here along the creeks here in the state of virginia here in bland county and take a look now you all the most toxic plant here in virginia or just about anywhere in the united states of america is hemlock we're looking at this plant right here and you can see them here in the background. They're, they get very tall. Some of them get 10 and 12 feet high. They're dead now. Hemlock is the most dangerous plant in the world, I think. So why I'm showing you this is you'll be down at the river fishing and you want to cook some of them fish and you want to start you a campfire and you'll go out here and you'll grab you some dead weeds. If you burn hemlock and breathe that smoke, guys, that stuff will kill you. That's the reason I'm showing you that. Now, if I was doing this video in the spring of the year, it'd be covered with white flowers, okay? But you can see this one up here is like 10 feet tall. And it's kin to giant hogweed and uh, wild parsnip and those kind of plants. But hemlock, you guys, is very toxic. In other words, You'll be joining Socrates after you drink, eat some of this hemlock, okay? So that's what the plant looks like after it's dead. I wanted to show it to you because 
if you burn it and breathe the smoke, get this stuff on you, it's going to kill you. And of course, growing right here with it, you guys, right close to this creek is water hemlock. Same category of plant. This stuff is highly toxic, and if you consume it, you're going to die. People who have survived this, you guys, say that it's like being set on fire on the inside of your body. And a lot of times people get exposed to this when they're weed eating. And this stuff's along the interstate. And finally, the state of Virginia decided that it'd be a good, it would be a good idea to eradicate this plant because of the, the workers on the interstate who come along and mow the interstate. And uh, they use weed eaters. They get exposed to this stuff right here. And it sets them on fire. It makes great big burns on your body wherever you get exposed to this right here. So this is water hemlock. And people mistake this for Queen Annie's lace, you guys. I don't see how they do it, but they do. The blooms are totally different, but hemlock in either form is going to kill you. So you all hop back in the car here. I am right beside the interstate here in Bland County. You're gonna find hemlock mostly grow, growing along the highways. And the, the reason it's here is because when uh, the interstate systems come through and they, after they get done, they seed the, these, you know, these gigantic banks that they've created when they made the interstate. They just get any kind of seed. They don't go, you don't, they don't just go get, you know, Kentucky fescue and, and plant it. They just get any kind of seed and they, they spread it on these banks. And that's where you get all these different toxic plants like hemlock for one thing. If I can find some giant hogweed, of course, the stuff is dead now, just like the uh, hemlock is, but I'd like to show you some giant hogweed as well before we get into the woods. So, but I do want to reiterate, uh, guys, do not burn hemlock plants along the creek. Know what you're burning because if you're cooking your fish with hemlock. Okay, you all in the spring of the year, this will have yellow blooms on it. It comes in giant patches. This is called Cypress Spurge. Do not consume Cypress Spurge, you all. Cypress Spurge is highly toxic. It has a milky substance in it. You can see it just got on my fingers right there. See that? That can cause severe burns. You'll see it in gigantic patches. One of the most irritating, toxic things that you can eat. It will cause severe blisters in your mouth and all through your body and will cause you to bleed to death. You can see that piece. I think you can see that piece right there. Just where I broke it. Cypress Spurge. All right, you all, I want to show you this vine right here. You can see it growing up that tree right there, but you can see it's growing right straight up like a grapevine. And this particular vine right here you all will mix in with wild grapes and i'm going to pull this one down just to show you this is where people get sick or get uh in the graveyard they eat these berries this is virginia creeper okay so let me pull this vine down i'm going to show you what it looks like so here we have some, I couldn't get that down out of that tree, you all. But here we have it growing all over the ground over here. This is called Virginia creeper. And it creeps everywhere. It, it uh, mixes in with grapevines. It will have purple fruit on it, just like a grape. And you will think it's grapes. If you're picking wild grapes and you're just, you know, grabbing your stuff off the tree, you will grab off Virginia creeper with the grapes. And that's how people get sick because they don't know the difference because it sort of looks like a grapevine leaf. Also looks like poison ivy a little bit or poison oak. This is Virginia creeper. They have toxic berries on them. Do not consume them. Okay, you all, you see those berries that look like grapes that will be mixed right in your grapevine. 
I had to come to an old building here to find this low enough so I could get you a photograph of it. You can see how that would be mixed right in with your grapes. That is Virginia creeper and those berries you guys will put you in the graveyard. So don't consume them. All right, you all, I was showing you hemlock. This right here is giant hogweed. It's pretty much the same, you all. Toxic. You can see that the, the uh, flower heads on this is totally different. Giant hogweed. Do not burn this stuff at your campfire, you guy. This plant will be yellow looking while it's blooming and growing. So you all, rhododendron. Now you can see this is a, fa this is a favorite plant. Shrub to plant around buildings, around houses. This is toxic to humans. Rhododendron. All right, you all, People mistake these for ramps, especially in the spring of the year. This is lily of the valley and it's toxic. Do not eat this plant right here. It grows in gigantic patches everywhere in the Allegheny Mountains. They're just another example of what it looks like. See the fruit on top of it? The flowers would have been white though in the spring of the year. Now here's one you guys that causes a lot of controversy. Pokeberries. Now you can eat this plant in the spring of the year you guys. You just have to boil it several times to take away some of its toxins. But some people you will see them consuming these poke berries right here. Do not consume poke berries, you guys. They're not good for a human being. I don't care what anybody says. And in the beginning of this video, if you do not know the mushroom, consider it toxic. Because it probably is. Ferns. Let's consider the ferns here. See them all over the place? This particular variety right here, you all, is, I think this is the Christmas fern. There's not but one edible fern in these mountains, you all, and it's the ostrich fern. Consider the rest of these things toxic to your body. Do not eat them. Here's one that you'll see in the spring of the year. It's got a little purple thing with a red berry on it in the middle of it. This is called Jack in the Pulpit. We call them uh, Indian turnips. You, I guarantee you, if you survive eating one of these, you'll remember it. Toxic Jack in the Pulpit. All right, you guys, here's one that people mistake for bone set. It's blooming all over your woods right now. This is called white snake root. Okay, and it is toxic. Do not consume snake root. But people mistake it for bone set. Okay, white snake root. Take a close look at it. Now you all, any of your cohoshes, which is that's what that is right there. Any of your cohoshes, if you do not know what you're doing, 
do not consume cohosh. All right, you all, here's one that's blooming right now. There's two different varieties. There's a purple one and this particular one right here. This is called alum root. Alum root is toxic. Do not consume alum root. So you all, that's it for this video. Uh, I hope you understand that lots of these plants out here in the forest are good to consume right as they are. Uh, most of them need to be cooked, but all these poison plants that I've just showed you right here, do not consume them under any circumstances, okay? Because accidental poisoning happens all the time, whether it's a mushroom or whether it's a wild plant or it's some fruit that looks like it's something good to eat. And, uh, you know, people get in, uh, sometimes get in desperate situations and they eat stuff they shouldn't have ate. Anyway, may the good Lord bless you, Frank. I thank you for asking me about this video. And uh, you all have a wonderful day.